Good afternoon everyone, I am Dan and joining me are my good friends Emeran and Rob and we are presenting Santa All, Great Grant to Wish this holiday season where we try to build an e-commerce gift recommender system based on user-generated wish lists. The pandemic has usually affected our lives and that includes our usual Christmas gathering. Moreover, gift giving became a lot harder because we are all stuck at home. And so we thought of a specific solution for this very specific problem. Through e-commerce marketplace, the project aims to facilitate gift giving by providing users an easier way of finding appropriate gifts for their friends and their loved ones. Because in the end, we might not be together physically, but we can still be closer together through our minds and our good intentions. So to provide us further background about the project, here is Emmer. So before we discuss this feature, we first want to emphasize the potential of the e-commerce industry at least in Southeast Asia. Uh, the potential for e-commerce in C is big. So this is no secret. This is a very well-known fact. Uh, e-commerce GMV in Southeast Asia grew by 63% from 2019 to 2020, and it's expected to grow to 172 billion US dollars by 2025. And it's also growing very fast. Over a third of 2020's online commerce was generated by new shoppers. Uh, and these new buyers are also sticky of which 8 in 10 continue to buy, uh, intend to continue buying online moving forward. So this is why e-commerce marketplaces are scrambling to get an early slice of this huge potential. And since holiday shopping and gift giving is already inherent in Filipinos, having this feature that supports that will give an e-commerce player an advantage over competitors. It will allow them to attract shoppers to go to their platform due to the ease and convenience instead of the competitors. So for our feature, wedding registry-like wish lists. So users will be given an option to create multiple wish lists, which they can choose to make public, like a wedding registry. Uh, after adding products to their wish list and making it public, they can share it with their friends, and then their friends will now know what their friend wants and choose a gift to purchase for them. After purchasing, the e-commerce site will now deliver the product to the buyer's doorstep. So it's that easy and it adds a social aspect to online shopping. Okay. So this is where data science comes in. So the wishlist feature will be accompanied by a recommender engine that will help users build their wishlist. So as you can see here, this is uh, what the UI is going to look like. Um, the user has the option to make their wishlist public or private using this toggle. And uh, this is where the products are going to appear. And this is where the recommender system is going to recommend products. Uh, this is where the user can add the recommended products directly to their wish list. And now um, we will be discussing our methodology. Thanks, Emmer. So now we proceed in discussing the methodology for Santa uh, We mainly use Python as our main programming language together with these technologies to make Santa All. You may check our Heroku app online to see our full documentation. Now, we look at the data set that we used for our project. We scraped our data from Shopee, one of the leading e-commerce platforms in the Philippines. Afterwards, we did some data wrangling where we removed duplicates and null values among others. After some feature engineering, we arrived with a data set having 41,943 unique products and 21 different main categories. In this slide, you can see how our script automatically gets data from Shopee. It actually took us almost two weeks with our computers open day and night to scrape all of our data. To build a recommender engine, we mainly use the product name in three levels of categories, main, subcategory one, and subcategory two. We also filtered our results by rating, number of items sold, interest, discount rate, and trusted seller. Now, to discuss the pipeline, here's Ran. Thanks, Rob. Now, let me share you how we arrived with the recommender engine. First, we normalize each product name to have consistency. Next, by using PFIDF, we get the importance of each word to its respective categories. We then use network theory to correlate products and categories, and this results in getting the most relevant categories. To get the most relevant products, we use K and N, and lastly, to filter the most performing products, we created a scoring system, and now we got the recommended products. So this is now where it gets exciting. We deployed the recommender engine in Django to show you how we envision the application. 
Also, earlier today, we thought of doing a Secret Santa ourselves, and so we already prepared our own wish list. Oh no! I forgot to create mine. But just give me a second and I'll try to create mine. It's okay, Ran. No problem. Let me and Rob guide you. So on the homepage, you can see some of the gift ideas based on some filters like categories and price range. So you don't have to do it manually. But first, let's try to create your wish list. For starters, Ran, what have you been doing lately? Hmm, lately I gained a lot of weight. So maybe I want to do yoga again. It actually oh, works in two ways. Same. <laughs> you can leave those wishes as it is, but if you want to make them more specific, you can click the magnifying glass to look at the recommendations. Oh, I want a yoga mat and I also want a resistance band. Amazing. Now you can share it to your community where you have the option to make it public or private. Now, let's look at the next feature, the community feature. Let's look at Emmer's wish list. Oh, I didn't know Emmer is, a, Emmer is a gamer. And you, Rob, likes gardening. Yes, he's a certified plantito now, actually. Wow. And now let's see Dan's wish list. Yeah, go ahead. Look at it. <laughs> oh, it's random. Oh, sorry. I forgot to tell you, but you could also do that if you want surprises like me. Isn't it amazing? Now we can easily facilitate gift giving. You know what, guys? I really hope our projects can reach um, and help a lot of people. Yes, I like it very much. It's, it is easy to follow and it is more convenient. That's, now, what, that's what we offer to our users, actually. Ease of use and convenience. Now let's look at the documentation. So, if you are curious on how we conceptualize the recommender engine, you may visit our Heroku app online with the link to be shared with you later on. Earlier, we have already discussed the sections from introduction to feature engineering, so we are skipping that. So for now, we will show you some of our exploratory data analysis. But feel free to check them out using the link for the interest of time. We also deployed a working recommender engine. Let's try searching for a gaming mouse and look at its results. But as a disclaimer, when you try out a recommender engine, you may encounter errors when trying to search for very specific products. But nonetheless, it should work as fine in general. Here, you can see the top results of the gaming mouse. You can also see the top rated products and the most popular ones among others. We now discuss our evaluation and recommendations. Okay, so uh, we didn't get a chance to deploy our model in an actual marketplace, but we thought about how we would evaluate it if we had the chance. Uh, Click-through rate would be looked at to measure the relevance of content being served by the recommender system. So if our system, for example, recommends three products and the user adds one of those to their wish list, then we would have a click-through rate or a position of 33.3%, meaning 33.3% of served products are relevant to customers. We would also want the feature to increase the average revenue per user of the platform, which we expect it to do. And our goal is for our feature to convince customers and friends to buy their gifts from our platform instead of a competitor's, whether that be offline or online. And lastly, we want our feature to invite buyers to our platform due to the social aspect of it, as well as increase the overall revenue of the platform. As for our recommendations, uh, we would attempt a hybrid filtering approach for our recommender engine. Currently, we're using a content-based filtering approach. Um, we thought about this because we want our model to recommend more complementary items to items in the wish list rather than substitute items to better increase average order value. But we would need transactions and user data to do this. We thought about implementing this as a third-party website also, which would then aggregate products from all the platforms, which would make money through affiliate commissions. Lastly, another project idea, analyze product reviews to get ideas for product improvement and a better understanding of consumer feedback. Since reviews on platforms, at least here in the Philippines, are mostly skewed to the positive side. Okay, so you guys might be wondering, why Santa All? Uh, as you might have guessed, uh, Santa All is a spin on the popular Filipino phrase, Sana All, which means hopefully everyone, rough translation, uh, with our new feature, 
everyone can be Santa this holiday season and grant their friends holiday wish. So remember your loved ones and send them that gift they always wanted. Thank you.